Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you replace the blower assembly in your dryer, be sure to unplug the power cord. Use a number 2 square bit or a Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the screws at the back securing the main top. Slide the main top back and lift it up to remove. Next, unthread the screws securing the control panel mounting brackets to the frame. With the screws removed, lift the panel up and use a small flathead screwdriver to depress the retaining tab to release the wire connector. Open the dryer door and unthread the two screws on the front panel securing the lint filter housing cover. Lift and support the dryer. Then unthread the bottom front panel mounting screws. With the screws unthreaded, remove the support and unthread the top front panel mounting screws. Lift the panel up and out. Disconnect the door switch wire connector to fully remove the front panel. Now disconnect both the drum light wire connector and the user control board wire connector from the main control board. Unthread the control board support bracket screws and detach the bracket from the front bulkhead. Unthread the lower bulkhead mounting screws. Carefully lift the front bulkhead up to detach it from the frame. Support the main control board bracket. Reach under the drum and unthread the belt from the pulley and motor shaft. You can use the belt to help lift out the drum. Detach the spring from the idler arm and lift off the idler assembly. Use channel lock pliers to secure the motor shaft and a 7 8 inch socket to unthread the blower wheel by rotating it clockwise. Use a large flathead screwdriver to help pry the motor retaining bracket off. Unthread the screw and remove the thermistor from the blower housing. Next, Unthread the blower housing mounting screws and you can remove the old blower assembly. Before you install the new blower assembly, make sure the exhaust gasket is pushed back on the duct. Now align the blower wheel on the motor shaft as you insert the blower housing outlet into the duct. Thread the mounting screws to secure the housing. Replace the motor retaining bracket. Secure the motor shaft and rotate the blower wheel counterclockwise to secure it to the shaft.
position the arm on the idler mount, then attach the idler spring to the arm. Slide the gasket over the outlet. Insert the thermistor into the blower housing and replace the screw. Reinstall the drum by positioning it on the rear rollers. Loop the belt on the pulley and motor shaft in a zigzag formation. Rotate the drum to help align the belt. Reinstall the front bulkhead by inserting the tabs into the slots in the frame as you align the drum on the front rollers. Thread and tighten the lower bulkhead mounting screws. Detach the support from the main control board bracket and hook the bracket onto the bulkhead. Replace the screws. Reconnect the user control board wire connector as well as the drum light wire connector. Reinstall the front panel by first reconnecting the door switch wire connector. Now hook the front panel tabs on the slots in the frame. Replace the panel mounting screws on top. Lift and support the dryer to replace the bottom mounting screws. Thread and tighten the two screws to secure the lint filter housing cover to the front panel. Connect the wire connector to the user control board. Reposition the control panel and replace the screws to secure the brackets. Realign the main top and slide it into place. Rethread the screws in the back. With the repair completed, plug the power cord back in, and your dryer should be ready for use.